Today we're going to be working on this project, so let's take a look at what we need today. You're going to need watercolor paper, clean water, paper towel, a compass or something round to trace, pencil and eraser, a paintbrush, I'm using Silver Brush Limited, round sizes 8 and 4, watercolor, I'm using the Sprout Creative Paints in Tennessee Blues, Damselfish, Spring Green, Pumpkin Frost, and Coffee. You can use whatever colors you want. And I'll be using a heat tool, which is optional. You can use a hair dryer or you can let it dry naturally. Begin by making a circle on your paper. I had a little trouble with my compass, but seriously, you can just use a bowl or a cup, just trace something round. Lightly erase your pencil marks so that you just have a ghosting of the circle. Paint your circle with clean, clear water. You want enough water that your paper is shiny, but your water is not pooling. Using Tennessee Blues, I'm just going to go along the outer edge of my circle on the left hand side. I'm not going to direct my paint too much at this point, I'm just going to let it do what it wants to do. Try to remind yourself to take it slow and easy, even this video has been sped up a little bit. With the paint that's still in your brush, go ahead and drop some paint into the middle of your sphere. You can also pull from the edges of your circle. Now let's go ahead and add a new color. This one is called Damselfish. You can't see a stark difference on screen, but there's shimmer to this one, and it's a little more green. Again, I'm just focusing on the outer edge of my circle and letting the paint do what it wants to do. Drop some in the middle. I'm going to add spring green. I'm going to drop in some more Tennessee Blues and watch these bleeds. Drop in a little Pumpkin Frost. You really do just want to drop in your Pumpkin Frost. You don't want to do much blending. Blue and orange are complementary colors. They're opposite on the color wheel. So if you blend, it's going to start looking muddy. Let it dry completely. Okay, for the stem, we're gonna use coffee to make a slight backwards S stroke using just the tip of our brush. Let's make a leaf at the top of the stem starting with the left side of the leaf. Make the leaf using tip, belly, tip. This means start with the tip of your brush, push down into the belly of the brush, and pull back up to the tip as you get near the tip of the leaf. Starting at the base of the leaf, I'm just gonna go over this again. Tip, belly, tip. Tip, belly, tip. Widen the base of your stem just a bit. Let's try this with one stroke from the stem. We're gonna go tip, belly, tip, tip, belly, tip. Again, tip, Belly, tip, tip, belly, tip. Tip, 
I'm going to speed up the video. Using the tip of your brush, let's add some dots. And that is it. What a fun project. I hope you enjoyed it and maybe had some downtime to relax. I would love to see your finished project. Please make sure I see it on Instagram at lovelettered_studio. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please comment, like, share, and subscribe. It really helps my small business. Thanks so much for watching.